Good morning internet. I've got a million things I should be getting done today but I got a parcel today. I ordered myself a block lock ruler because I've seen so many people using them online and I thought I want to try it out. So now that I've got this new toy I want to test it. So I'm going to make myself a bunch of half square triangles. I don't know quite what I'm going to make out of them but it's all going to be a really fun experiment. Seeing as this is a four and a half inch ruler I'm going to start with some five inch squares and I just happen to have this charm pack that I got as a free gift with an order from some company probably Missouri Star I can't remember. I don't have any immediate plans for them, they're not really my usual colour scheme, so um, seems like a good place to start. They're very bright and colourful. I think to tone them down a bit I'm going to use some grey, just because I happen to have a bit of grey around. Hopefully this should be enough there. So my first step is going to be cut a whole load more 5 inch squares out of my grey. By my count that's 42 grey squares to match the 42 coloured squares. I've pressed all those open so let's try this new ruler. So the idea is you put it on like that and you can just trim around it and it locks itself onto the diagonal which is that's quite nice. Okay, so immediately I can see where a rotating match would be easier with this, but that still seems to work. Hmm, nice. This might be a bit easier if I'd started with bigger than five inch squares, but that's what I had. It's just not a lot to trim off from a five inch square when you make it into a half square triangle then down to four and a half it's like it's only very small amount so not the easiest to trim but they're coming out quite nice and it does make it a lot easier to keep the diagonal actually on the diagonal. So, yeah, I can see why people like these rulers. So if you have to keep switching them around to make sure that you've got the groove on the right side. Of 
course I still haven't actually decided what I'm going to do with all these half square triangles once I've made them. It's not a hundred percent fully fixed yet but I'm starting to come up with an idea. And yeah I know this isn't the most efficient way to make flying geese but that's what the triangles wanted to be. Okay I've sewn all of those triangles into flying geese and I'm starting to think because there's not really enough to make a quilt I mean I could put some borders and stuff around but I also kind of want to make something to take as a raffle prize for the book crossing convention that's coming up so I was thinking there's probably enough there to make a table runner with a set of matching placemats. That could be quite nice. So I'm gonna play around and see what I come up with. Well, that changed concept a few times but I think I'm happy with what I've got now. I'm going to put a border around the placemats I think because they'll be a bit small otherwise. I ended up with five placemats because the table runner was looking a bit long and I also kind of like how the placemats are coming out so I thought I'll make one for myself because I can use it like as a tray mat or something like that. So that's why five. So I'm quite happy with how those turned out. I did end up putting a border on the big table runner as well because I liked the effect of the border on the placemats so I thought I'd repeat it on the table runner. Placemats are possibly a little bit big but they will shrink a bit when they're quilted and I'd rather start with them a bit big and can trim them down if I think I need to. It's going to be a week or two before I can get the quilting on these done so I think I'll end the video here. I might do a part two to show you the finished product later on but for now the verdict on the block lock ruler is yeah they're cool they they work really well um, They're quite expensive for something that's, n it's really a gimmicky thing. Um, they're great, they work, they do exactly what they're supposed to do, but it's a pretty specialist ruler. And like all these specialist rulers, they do make life easier, but they're not necessary. You can do the same thing just with an ordinary ruler it's just a little bit more efficient using the block lock so I'm glad I've got it but I would say if you're tossing up between buying a block lock and buying just a good ordinary ruler the good ordinary ruler is going to do a lot more things than a block lock is but if you've got a million half square triangles to do 
then yay block block makes it easier anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to do all those nice internety things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment tell me have you got a block block and do you think it's worth it bye internet I'm really not good at product reviews, am I? <laughs>